This past weekend, my dear Uncle Eddie turned 80. And it reminded me of a video essay I wrote in 2007 about my hopes and dreams and faith-filled expectations for growing old. That's my dad. He's been working on my sister's car the past eight hours. This is my mom, who's driving me back to graduate school so I don't have to take the bus. And these are my two sisters, who hate it when I film them, but mask it quite politely with beautiful smiles. I'm halfway to 50, which invariably could be the new 25 by the time I get there, a time when I'm acutely aware of the love handles and pot belly my metabolism had fought off for so long. Yet as my body, the world, technology, will inevitably change, it's the things in life I hope not to change that I look forward to in my trek over the hill. I want to grin proudly at my kid's first business venture, and I want to say, yes, son, you can sell painted rocks on the side of the road. And I want to say, no, my dear, I did not touch the thermostat and have not been for the past 20 years. Mary outside will always be kept clean, and our house will not lack Miss Shirley Temple and Mr. Bojangles Robinson. And what's a home without a cuckoo clock in the family? In 25 years, I've seen two towers and one wall fall, prayed for the seven astronauts, and danced to the DuckTales theme song at 5 p.m. on weekdays in my warm blue feety pajamas. In 25 years, I want my kids to know, as I know, that while many things do change, their father's love will always remain. And there will be goodness and love in this family. And a hell of a mechanic in Grandpa. Me at 50. It is still true today.